Hey guys, Britt here from Full Dad Mode. Today I'm going to be unclogging this drain. Uh, this drain is uh, incredibly clogged. Let's see. <sighs> Clearly it's hair. Post a link to some other uh, content where I found how to um, declog these, but I know what the problem is. Step one is you gotta know what the problem is. I know that the problem is um, hair. My wife is blessed with a lot of it. <laughs> Let's try this again. All I'm doing right now is unscrewing this back area. And what that allows me to do is pull this out. Okay. <clears throat> this is extremely disgusting. Clearly it's hair. Um, just off the bat, I can just pull out gobs of it. So this is gonna be pretty straightforward. Yikes. Since I know it's here, I got this uh, Cobra uh, hair snake with sinks and tubs. You go the Drano route, that sort of thing. There's a lot of YouTube videos on how to do this like a natural way, but let's face it, I know that this is hair, so I'm gonna try this out. I've never actually used this. So you guys are coming along for the journey here with me. So you can see I can go all the way in. Holy cow, it is definitely hair. Now, if you use like a chemical or something, a lot of times what that does is it actually um, burns whatever's in there. Um, since I wanted to start this route first, or I want to start this route first because burnt hair does not smell good. And it's nasty, and there's probably some environmental reason for not wanting chemicals or something. To All right, <clears throat> so I'm all the way in. You can see bottoming out. So I don't know how long this is, probably like two feet or something. Uh, bottoming out there, and it's as far as I can go. So what we'll do is test out the drain again. Um, I didn't uh, test it out before because I already knew it was clogged. Um, all the other reviews online I read said that you should uh, make sure that it's clean or clear before you, um, you know, put chemicals in and that sort of thing. So uh, I didn't mess monkey with it. Uh, that made everything a little bit drier to work with. Since I can't go down any deeper, I'm looking down and I can't see anything. I'm just going to try this here. And what do you know? It's working. So here's what we'll do. Just gonna wipe some of this crap up. Nasty. It was extra dirty because uh, my wife squirted a bath toy into this. Um, and bath toys get moldy as dirt, so it was really, really moldy. So actually there's a lot of mold in here, so it looks a little grosser than it normally is. But look at that pearly white. Um, well, that was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Um, <clears throat> so I cleaned this off. I'm going to put this stopper back in. There's probably some technical plumbing word for it that I don't know what it is, but um, this little thing uh, inserts in the back. And that's what operates this. I'm going to connect those two. Uh, again, probably some plumbing term, I don't know. You can see a little ball on this thing. Seems to have found it. Sometimes the key is finding the right hole. <sighs> Usually not my strong point. Every now and again, a blind squirrel finds a nut. So there we go. You have it. That was a lot easier than I thought it'd be. So I hope you enjoyed this video. The product I used was the Cobra Tool Hair Snake. It was like two bucks at the hardware store. I'd recommend it. Works for hair.